guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going over this kiss insta wave 101 automatic curler um a little preview this is how it turned out it kind of gave me these like loose mermaid waves i really ended up liking it so if you guys want to see how i got this then please keep watching <laughs> Okay, so like I said, we have the Kiss InstaWave 101 Automatic Curler. This is a one and one fourth inch size barrel. This is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm gonna charge it. Well, not charge. I'm gonna turn it on while we go over it. Okay, so when you open it, it just comes out like this. I don't think I've ever used a curling iron from the brand Kiss. I use their eyelashes, but never a curling iron. I, why did I get this? Oh, I got it because I saw it on Facebook, like on an article of like best things to buy on Amazon. And I was like, well, I don't have anything like that. So I decided to get it. <laughs> of course, one of those like random buys like at 11 o'clock at night, like I had no business, but I saw it on Amazon and it was ready to ship the next day. So I bought it. So here we are. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm sure this will move the barrel. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, this is the on button. Okay, we plugged it in and you have to hold this button down for at least a good three to five seconds. It doesn't click on right away. I was like having difficulties, I couldn't figure it out or if like my outlet wasn't working. No, just hold down the button. I'm sure if I read the instructions it would say that. Um, so let's go ahead and read through the instructions. So right here, it kind of shows you how to. It says hold InstaWave vertically and place a one to two inch section of hair in between barrel and spinner. Press button to rotate to curl barrel. Continue pressing button until hair is fully wrapped around barrel. After eight to 10 seconds, remove barrel straight down to release curls. It says foolproof curler does it all. No more hard time styling your curls. The touch of a button kiss and so 101 curls hair for, for you in seconds. So pretty easy. Here are the instructions. I'm not going to go over those because I never do. <laughs> so the only thing I have sprayed in my hair today so far, um, if you guys see my videos, you know that I have naturally straight hair. So this is what my hair looks like. Um, to blow dry it, I just use this L'Oreal blow dry it quick dry primer spray. I really like this stuff. Um, before curling or styling my hair, I like to use this Chi Iron Guard. I've been using this for years. I love this stuff. And I try to keep it towards the end of my hair, um, a little bit on top, but I just really like it for the ends. Then with my brush, I will brush through. That way it kind of evenly coats everywhere. So I always section my hair off in parts, but right now we're just gonna do a test strand because I just kind of want to see how the barrel works. So, you're going to put the hair in. That didn't work. Maybe I need a bigger section. Okay, so I'm going to put the hair in the barrel. Whoa, it grabs it. Well, it should. <laughs> and you keep it there. Eight to 10 seconds. And then you can slowly release it. Ooh, that's really pretty. I actually like that that's like really faint. The only problem is that the bottom part didn't curl. So let me stick it more towards the bottom. Hmm. With a new curling wand or curling tool, it does take time to get used to. So just be patient with it. There we go, I have a good grip on it now. And there you go, there is your loose weave. That's actually very pretty. Wow, I really like that. Okay, so that's good. So we are going to section our hair off. To me, that's just always been the easiest way to curl my hair. That's how I like doing it. I like sectioning it off in 
three sections. So we're just going to clip the first one back. I pull my hair to the front. We're going to grab a piece. And then to release it, I don't use the wand with it. I just let it kind of just drop like that. As you can see, it's really easy to use. I think just like once you get the technique down, um, it's just like a little foreign of how to like manipulate. This is usually my easier side. My other side is where I feel like less coordinated. So, but the curls are very pretty. I actually really like those. So right here, you'll see. So I like to put my hair between at least two barrels and let it kind of do its thing. But you see, I'm just moving this. You could even move it while they're curling, while your hair is curling, it's pretty, it's not pulling or tugging it at all. And then you just let it drop. Those are my baby hairs, so I just kind of used it like a wand to grab. Just so it gives it a little curl. Then I'm going to pull this side. So this is where I feel less coordinated. So this one's a little bit more challenging to me. There we go. There we go. If you start to feel your hair get tangled, don't keep letting it spin because you don't want your hair to get trapped. But the barrel is very sleek. So I, again, I have straight hair, so usually my hair kind of just falls out. If you have curly hair, I would be careful. But like I said, everything's really sleek and like everything's really sleek. So I feel like it's just easy to slide through. Okay, let's see the curls. Again, this is kind of just like a lazy girl curling iron in a sense that you don't have to go and wrap your hair around it or curl it yourself. It does the work for you. So like I said, once you have the technique down of how to use it, it seems like it's going to be like very easy to use. Oops. My hair is very clean, so it's like very sleek and slippery right now. So now that that layer is done, we're going to spray it. I'm on a bottom layer of my hair. I like to use the Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray right here. So we're going to just spray it. I like that it's a very loose on part. I don't know if there were different sizes. I'll have to look that up and I'll, I'll put it down in the comments. Um, but I, on purpose, I wanted a really big curling barrel, a one and one fourth. I don't know if that's, I even have one that big. Usually for my day to day curls, I use a one inch. Um, so this one's a little bit bigger, so that's why I wanted to just try something different. So again, you can see I'm not grabbing big sections of hair. I'm just putting it through the barrel. So as you can see, this side, I'm very much more coordinated. <laughs> the other side, I'm having a little difficulty, but once I get the technique down, it will be really easy to use. And I like this side because I feel like it's very like mermaid wave. It's not tight at all, you can see, and I actually really like that. 
at the same time I'm doing this video, I'm doing a TikTok. If you were on social media, then you know the struggle of trying to do both at one time. It's a lot. <laughs> so every time I try to do a bigger chunk, it falls out. So I think best is to keep about, about a one inch hair section in there and then it won't fall. Well, it's falling a little bit, but it's okay. You keep twirling it, it does finally pick it back up. So again, it's just playing with it a little bit, manipulating it a bit. But you can see, I really like that. And I, and I like that the barrel rotates different ways because that way you can grab your hair and your hair, your hair can go different ways too. I actually don't like my all my curls facing the same way. I do like alternating. That's actually what I do with my normal curling. I'll alternate the way my curls curl. <laughs> So the barrel does it for you, so I actually like that, that you have control over it. I really like how loose and bouncy these are. Again, it's just up. Again, my hair pretty much does look like what it looks like on a normal basis, but I can tell that the curl is a little different myself. Um, that extra one fourth inch helps, or makes it look different, not that it helps. So when I get to my front piece, I don't like to curl all the way to the top, so. I'll kind of just leave it down here and let it grab just to about right there. And then my hair is a dent. So you can see it's really bouncy and flowy. So for the top layer of hair, I like to go with my Chi hairspray. And that's why I like to spray it on top. Because I really feel like it lifts my hair from the root. And that is the final look. So I really like that it's really bouncy. Not a super tight curl. It's very loose, very good for the summer. And there's like a lot of volume. I feel like my normal curling iron doesn't give me this amount of volume. Um, as you can see, like they just look like really light mermaid ways. Very pretty. I actually really like this. Like I said, once you get the technique down, it's not that hard. Um, it's just like kind of learning how to flip or which way to turn the curling iron. So I guess once you have that down, it's pretty easy to do. You guys already know I love testing out new products, whether it's skincare, makeup, hair care. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see me test out next or, or a curling iron you guys want me to do a review on, leave it in the comments down below. I will look out for that. And if you like this channel, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Bye.